So guys, since 2020 is right around the corner, I figured we should take a look at my best and worst stock investment on my Robinhood dividend, monthly dividend portfolio. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. But for those of you who are new here, I'm Michael Romero, small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things, especially in 2020 coming up. So since everything has been going pretty good with the Robinhood portfolio so far, um, I've only been having it about roughly three months. We're up almost 10% in those three months, which is great. I have about 15 different stocks in the portfolio and every single stock is a dividend every single stock is a dividend stock now about half of those or let's say a quarter of those are monthly dividend income stocks but they've all done generally well over the past few months but i have two in particular that have stood out the most one doing extremely good and one doing pretty crappy but there's a reason why I'm still holding on to that bad stock and you'll see in a little bit but i figure while we also in the portfolio we might as well see all the dividends that i got paid all the paychecks that i got over the month of december even though the month isn't over yet i still pretty much have all my dividends pending except for one but i know it's coming up because it is a monthly dividend so guys before we get into the phone and into the portfolio let's go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because might as well do that since we're going into 2020 guys let's push this channel way into 2020 but really though thank you guys so much for everything you've been doing this past year I cannot wait to see what happens next year <laughs> alright guys so here is the portfolio so let's see on the last day we were up 0.56% which gives us a total of $2,846.69. Now in the last week, we're up 1.17%, uh, which is about uh, $32.93. Over the past month, we're up 7.33%, which is $194.34. And over the past three months, we're up 9.27%, which is $241.53. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the stocks we have here. We have Ford, Apple, Apple Hospitality Week, AGNC, MJ, which is an ETF, SPHD, which is an ETF, Coca-Cola, Bank of America, PSEC, Stag Industries, Medical Properties, MBR, Neighbor, right? Let's see. Yes, Neighbor Industries, AT&T, Pfizer, WPG, Oh, Iberia Bank and Ensego. Ensego is the only stock that is not a dividend stock. But guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into the worst performance stock so far. <laughs> well, for the year, basically, uh, in my portfolio, which is MJ. It's an ETF. MJ, ETFMG, Alternative Harvest. Let's see. Current price is $17.11. And over the past week, it's down 50 cents, almost 2.84%. Uh, over the past month, it's down 1.33%, which is 7.21%. I'm sorry, $1.33, which is 7.21%. And over the past three months, we are down 26%. Wow, $6.04. Past year, we're down $33.48. I'm sorry, 33.48%, which is 8.61%. Uh, and for five years we're down uh, which is actually doesn't go back five years well close we're down eight dollars and 57 cents which is three or thirty three dollars and 37 cents now for those of you who don't know this is a marijuana ETF and if also if you don't know the whole marijuana cannabis industry is pretty much low right now they're all on sale so obviously i've been adding more shares to this come this week whenever the market opens i will be adding more shares to this um i have 10 shares in it uh and like i said all of the cannabis industry pretty much pretty much all of the cannabis industry cannabis industry 
uh, is on sale right now. They're all at Lowe's. And I'm pretty sure it's like that is because it's the end of the year. Um, I'm pretty sure once the beginning of the year comes back around and everything starts warming up again, it will. The cannabis industry will recoup. Every day we're getting new laws passed. Every day new states, new cities, new countries are pretty much opening up their minds to the thought of uh, medical and recreational cannabis use, which is a plus. But if you don't know, <laughs> some of the top holdings is Tilray, uh, Kronos, Canopy Group, uh, ACB, uh, Aurora Cannabis, stuff like that. It's, it's, they're pretty much all the well-known, um, pretty much all the well-known cannabis stocks. But, so I, I own 10 shares currently, and my average cost is $18.84. So hopefully I can get this lower to around closer to 16, 17, 16 dollars this week. Um, my total equity is $171.10, which gives, that's pretty much 6% of my portfolio. So as you can see on the day of Friday, I made a 60% return, I'm sorry, 60 cent return for that day. But overall, I'm down $17.29, which is about 9.18%, guys. But if we look here, the 52-week low is just shy of $16 at $15.95. The high is $39.25. So there is room to jump up there. That's why I said this is pretty much at an all-time low. Well, maybe not all-time low, but it's definitely on sale. It's got a lot of room to grow, guys. And... We're at one, we have a 5.678% dividend yield on this bad boy. And as you can see here, Canopy Kronos, it's pretty much a lot of these Hexo, Hexos in it also. From MJ, you can see here, I started buying at 20, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, and then 17, 17, 16, 17. So I am trying to uh, get as much as I can below um, $20. Slowly but surely, we are building this up. Unfortunately, I did not collect, haven't collected any dividends from MJ yet, but we will get some, sure, within the next month or so. So, this is the worst stock we have in the portfolio. Now, on to the next stock. It depends on what you, on what you, what do you mean the best or worst stock? Ford, I have 46 shares in Ford. This is a great, this is one of the better stocks I have in my portfolio. And I'm actually pretty much up, haven't been up the entire time on stock, on, on Ford, basically. But uh, just recently it shot up to a $20, $20 gain, which is 4%. So I'm not gonna say that Ford is my best performing stock. What I will say is my best performing stock is Bank of America, if we're talking of gains. If we're talking about gains, then Bank of America is one of my better stocks. Bank of America, I have seven shares of Bank of America. Average cost $27.88. As you can see here, we at $34.98. So, with a total percent gain of 25.47%, which is around $49.71. My total equity in this bad boy is $244.86. Um, dividend yield of 2%, which I do believe the financial sector right now is pretty much, I would say undervalued, but I feel like it could be doing a little bit better. But Bank of America is killing it. We'll see if that trends, if that continues to trend the same way in 2020. So there you have it for my best and worst performing stock. Worst being MJ, best being, if we're gonna talk gains, as in raising the value of the stock, then Bank of America is it. If we're gonna talk dividend capturing, then Ford is it. And I'm gonna show you why in a little bit. All right, so let's go to our account activity history and let's go to our dividends. So what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is we're going to go over the month of December. Even though we're not finished, I know 
what else I'm gonna be capturing for the month of December. But we're gonna go over the month of December and I'm gonna show you why this is the best month I've had this year, well, over the past, since I started doing this here for you guys on this channel. Uh, so let's start with December 2nd, Pfizer, right? December 2nd, I got paid $1.44 for owning four shares of Pfizer. And <clears throat> December 2nd, also Ford. For owning 33 shares of Pfizer, uh, I'm sorry, for only 33 shares of Ford, I'm still stuck on Pfizer. For only 33 shares of Ford, I got paid $4.95. For owning, on December 10th, for owning 10 shares of AGNC, I got paid $1.60. On December 13th, for owning one share of Realty Income, I got paid 23 cents. Also on December 16th, I got three more checks. For owning five shares of Stag, I got paid 60 cents. For owning 11 shares of Apple Hospitality, I got paid $1.10. For owning seven shares of Coca-Cola, I got paid $2.80. And for owning two shares of WPG, I got paid 50 cents. Now, December 19th, PSEC. For owning seven shares of PSEC, I got paid 42 cents. And December 27th, I will be getting paid $1.26 from Bank of America. But that's not all. On the 29th of this month, I will be getting paid, I will be getting paid $1.24 for owning eight shares of SPHD. It's not showing up on my pending yet, but I will be getting paid for owning these eight shares of SPHD on the 29th of this month. So if we add all of that up this month, if we add everything we made this month, we got paid a total of, can you see here? We got paid a total of $16.20 for this month, guys. So guys, for the month of September, we had one, three checks, four checks for the month of September. We only got paid $3.01. For the month of October, we got paid seven checks which is a total of $5.15. And for the month of November, we got paid another seven checks, which comes to a total of $5.77. And as you can see, the jumps from each month, we go, I hope you guys can see this. We go $3.01, $5.15, cents. $5 and then boom, we in the double digits, baby. $16.02 for December, guys. As you can see with the monthly dividend investing strategy, um, your growth is slow, but every once in a while you get that exponential boost. You'll get that big boost. It'll go little, little change, little change, little change, and a big jump. Then a little change, little change, little change, big jump. But over time, those little changes, they become a little bit bigger also, and those big jumps even become a little bit bigger. So you go from making pennies to dollars to hundreds of dollars eventually, even thousands of dollars. My goal for next year is to hit as close to $100 a month as I can, at least over $50 a month in dividend payments, which I think is extremely doable. And if you guys wanna know more about this strategy, or, and pretty much how time affects it and how compounding your interest and, and reinvesting your dividends affects the way, affects it over time. I'm gonna leave a link in the comments to a video explaining it. All right guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Go ahead and smash the like button for that YouTube algorithm guys. Like I've said before, I'm forever grateful for what you guys have been helping me do with this channel. I cannot wait to see what 2020 holds for us. And if you already made it this far, if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. Turn it gray. Also, while you're down there, hit that little notification bell to know the next time we come out with some more good information like this, guys. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know what's up. <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the channel or whatever you want to let me know in the comments, guys. Also, um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos.